Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back for another video. In this one, we're going to learn about events and how to handle them. And basically, we're going to learn all the code, what each piece of code means, and you see how it works in action. Basically, an event is say you click a button, something happens. You press enter, something happens. You click a radio button, or you type something in a text field, you click something with your mouse, something happens. So basically, an event is you do something and something is going to happen as a result of that action. So obviously these are very important because you can't have a functional program without um, events because you can't just have a program with a bunch of text on the field and I mean without events you can't interact with it so alright enough of me talking. <coughs> First of all you're going to need to import a few things so port Oh. Alright, if you didn't get those, pause your screen because I am going to close them right now. So, then we need to extend J frame as usual. The first part of this is going to be the first part of this program is not going to be any different than our last program that we made. The last couple, I guess. So, I think for this one, we're just going to make a uh, start off with an empty text label, and then we click a button. The label is actually gonna say something. So, private J label, label, private J button, button. Very uh, simple to remember. And by the way, I think I haven't told you this, you guys this yet, but you can name these anything as you want. They don't have to be just. They don't just have to be called label. You could call it like rat or I don't know something I mean it doesn't matter that just because it says label doesn't mean you have to name it label you can name it anything you want but I just name it label just because it's easy to remember what it does or what it is alright now we need the constructor because yeah we're only having two variables or two objects so <laughs> alright that's the constructor remember you just name it whatever your class is named. So mine happens to be called events. Just name it events. Empty parameters and then curly braces. And this is where our program actually starts to take shape. So set layout new flow. And by the way in a couple of tutorials I'm gonna teach you about layout so for now we're just gonna keep stick with the default one. Alright now label is equal to new J label. Whoops and yeah we're gonna leave it empty because when we start the program we want the label to actually not say anything actually I'm gonna put the button on top of the label so just um... button equals new j button and inside the button we're gonna say click for text and when we click that button the j label below us is actually gonna appear text is gonna appear in it so add button. Go back to our label we had here and just add the label. Alright now this is where things get different from the last few tutorials. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna tell Java that we're gonna make a new um, subclass inside of our main events class and this class is basically gonna have the action performed um, method in it and inside that action perform method we're gonna tell um, our button, what to do when we click it. So, here's how you do this. You type in, you can name this class anything you want, but I'm just going to name it event, and then you have to name your object. I'm just going to call it E equals new event. Just like that. Now, we're giving, it's giving us errors because we haven't <laughs> made the class called event, but we're about to. And now, all you do is you say button dot add action listener right there and inside that you put whatever you named your object right here I named mine E so I put E if you named it uh, Robert <laughs> I don't know why you would but you'd put Robert you know and also you can name this class anything you want but it's probably best just to um, name it what I named just so you don't get confused later on alright now we're done with our constructor so go outside of it you can tell that by the uh, the curly brace here I usually go down a couple lines to make it 
easy to read. Now, type in, um, I think, public class event. And now we're going to need to implement uh, action listener thing. Yeah. Alright, yep. And what this does is it lets us basically we have to override the the action listener method and there's only one and it's called action performed and oh by the way what we did up here is when we added an action listener to the button we basically made it so it's um, listening for us to do something in this case we're just gonna click it so public class event implements action listener and now we have to write a method in here so public void it's not gonna return anything so it's a void and then this one is called action with a little a undercase and performed with a big P formed and then inside the parameters you have to write action event and then uh, you can write whatever you want I just call it E just for simplicity's sake and then see that the error went away because now we're actually gonna tell our button to do something in this case we want our label to say words to uh, yeah say words when we click the button so we're gonna say label dot and then set text and then inside the set text you want it to do you want it to say whatever you want so I mean um I guess if we can have it be now you can see words here. Alright. <coughs> now that's all we gotta do for this one because this is a very simple one so we only need actually one line of code so done with that now go and write your main method And then you should know how to do this by now. So events GUI equals new events. And set it visible. All right done. Run this thing. Now, we have a button that says click for text. We click it and it says, now you can see words here. And we haven't, we can modify this so, whoa. We can modify this label.setText, this uh, action performed method. So actually when we um, click it again, the words would disappear or something like that, but I'll get into that in a couple more tutorials. So. For now, just study this code, try to remember it, and that's all it does. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again for the next one.